All right, here we are outside of the Livingston multifamily. Nice neighborhood right across from a school. Uh, first unit we're going to go to is the upstairs unit up the spiral staircase. Um, this one certainly needs the most work out of the two. Um, it's mostly just a mess, but it, it's got old windows. Here's kind of the living room. Here's a, um, you know, an extension of the bedroom. And then it goes back into, this is where the bed actually is. There was no light in there. So sorry for that, but so kind of two 10 by 10 rooms next to each other for the bedrooms. Uh, pretty plain kitchen. Um, and then a bathroom that's not in that great of shape, uh, but livable for sure. Uh, the downstairs unit is definitely a different story. This place is really nice. Uh, both units have tall ceilings, which is that's good. Um, but all old windows throughout. Um, this one has two bedrooms. This is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Probably a 10 by 10 bedroom here. And a closet. Uh, once again, nice tall ceilings. And then we'll wrap around and go into the kitchen. Kitchen, there's the full bath to the right. We'll go in there in a second. Nice kitchen. Um, this one is rented until June, this unit is. So if you moved in, you'd have to move into the upper unit and maybe do some work and then move down here in June. Good sized bedroom is the master. It's got a, uh, well, we'll go out there in a second, but here is the basement. So the basement's a Michigan basement that's a really small, um, and cobblestone foundation. So, you know, you can feel the fluctuation of the floor um, throughout the house because it's so old. Um, the apply, uh, mechanicals downstairs are in good shape. They're 2011 on the furnace and water heater. So, nice bathroom in this unit. Uh, nice tub shower, vanity, toilet, everything looked pretty new. And then also another feature of the master bedroom is that it's got a, a little porch you, know, that you can access up there. So bottom unit is definitely the nicest and very livable.